I do want to give a trigger warning. This case does involve the abuse and unaliving of a child. And if that is something that is triggering to you, I ask you to not watch or like the video. Hey girl, let's talk crime. On February 8th, 2019, 28-year-old Nakira Griner was walking to her local Walgreens in Bridgeton, New Jersey with her two children, one who was strapped to her chest, and then her two-year-old son, Daniel Jr., was in his stroller. According to Nakira, she was attacked from behind. She was ambushed, she was kicked, she was punched, she was thrown to the ground. And to her shock and fear, someone had kidnapped her two-year-old son, Daniel, and his stroller. Nakira does call 911 a few different times. She hangs up and then she keeps calling back. She is very hard to understand because she's crying so much, trying to explain to the dispatch uh, what exactly happened, that she was attacked, that her two-year-old son, Daniel Jr., was kidnapped, and she is just a mess like any mother would be. So this is around 6.30 p.m. that she reports the attack and that Daniel has been abducted. Police do come out. They do end up getting um, bloodhounds so that they can track Daniel's scent and not a few blocks away from where she said that she was attacked. They find Daniel's stroller and inside was just a pair of shoes, but no Daniel. While continuing to investigate and try to figure out where Daniel was, they did end up tracking him to her backyard. Around 3 a.m., the remains of Daniel Jr. were found in the backyard of her and her husband's yard, and the autopsy had revealed that Daniel had been beaten to death. So while Nakira was being interviewed, she initially denied to take a polygraph test and then she agreed to do one and then she did end up failing that. And after that, her story changed multiple times. And then she finally admitted that he would not eat or listen to her. And so she would continue to hit him. And every time he would cry, more or scream, which is kind of a natural response to being abused, she would continue and she left a lot of bruising on his face and then even said that he fell down the stairs and she did not help him at all. So she said that Daniel had fallen down the stairs and then she wanted to cover up the injuries that he had from that. After that, she decided to in an effort to hide her crime, she decided to put her son in the oven and then dismember his body. She put some of his parts in her purse and then buried the rest of him under their shed in the backyard. Authorities say that Daniel Jr. was burned so badly that it was difficult to immediately identify exactly what happened to him. Expert testimony also revealed that Daniel's skull had been broken into 74 pieces. She was initially offered a plea deal of 30 years and she did decline that and decided instead to go to trial. And then this year she was found guilty. She was found guilty of first degree murder, second degree desecrating human remains, fourth degree tampering with evidence, second degree endangering the welfare of a child, and second degree false public alarm. She was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. A judge did sentence Nikira to an additional seven years for second degree desecration of human remains. Her legal team stated that she should not be held responsible due to postpartum psychosis, that they do plan to appeal this. Her husband, Daniel Sr., is a nurse who was working two jobs at the time. And although the defense did bring him up, stating that because he admitted to whooping Daniel a few days prior to this, that he should be considered as a suspect as well. However, their other child, um, according to an article, is now with his father, Daniel Sr.